Hi, I'm Gary the Water Guy, and I own the Water Filter e-store and the Water Store in Midland, Ontario. Today we're talking about how much salt should be in your water softener. Now, some folks uh, think that uh, it should be chocked full all the time. Some folks think it doesn't matter as long as there's some in there. Definitely makes a difference. So the short answer is the water level should always be slightly lower than the salt level. And the reason is the water needs to touch the salt to absorb it so that it can create the correct concentration of brine. Now the only problem with that definition is some water softeners are uh, pre-fill water softeners, so there's never any water in there, so that doesn't really give you an, an idea. So before we go any further um, with this discussion, I'd really like you to check out my video, How a Water Softener Works, because that will really help to explain a lot of what I'm talking about here today. Here we can see a great example of water being higher than the salt or water being lower than the salt. So the water here that's above the salt won't absorb the salt and uh, so it won't make the proper concentration of brine when it goes to regenerate the water softener. Whereas on this side where the water level is lower than the salt it will be able to, because it's in contact with the salt, it will be able to absorb the right amount of salt to make the right concentration of brine to regenerate that water softener. So does that mean you should keep your water softener full of salt? No. Modern water softeners are very efficient, especially the Aquamaster line of high efficiency water softeners. So what that means is they use very little salt and very little water. Now, um, modern water softener salt itself, like this Windsor System Saver salt here, which is what I recommend, is also very pure. And uh, so there's very little dirt in there. So very little to keep the salt from binding together. What compounds it even more is the salt reservoir on most water softeners is way too big for them. So with all those things added up together, keeping it full invites, invites the whole situation to run into a salt clog. And a salt clog is very difficult to uh, clear up and you want to avoid that altogether. So what's the bottom line? What's the right amount of salt for you? Well, if your family, you have a small family, three people or less, and your water is a hardness of 20 or less, never keep it more than half full, okay? As it gets down to a quarter full or so, then you can bring it up to the half full level. If you're a large family or your water is very hard above 20 grains per gallon of hardness, then keep it about three quarters full. And that will make sure it keeps turning over, but you'll definitely have enough salt in there so the water's touching the salt. Who should keep it totally full? Nobody. And that's it. If you like what you saw today, please click the subscribe button. That way you'll be notified about all the new videos as they become available on this channel. If you'd like some more information, you can go to our websites, either www.thewaterfilteresteore.com or www.thewaterstoremidland.com. And again, I'm Gary the Water Guy from the Water Store in Midland, Ontario. Thanks for watching.